Jeff Tewksbury, can I interest you in some Haribo Twin Snakes Sweet and Sour Gummy Worms? You certainly may, Scott. Thank you. See, they're, co they're cojoined. Cojoined twins. Cojoined twin snakes. One, one sweet. is sweet and one is sour. Thus, That's like us. Sweet and sour. Sour? Yeah. So Well, sweet. no. Sometimes I'm sour and you're sweet. Not usually. And so this is a special airport edition of Stack Break. I just, I saw a tram right over <laughs> my left shoulder. We, uh, the single image I will always have about covering huge events was the Super Bowl in 89. The San Francisco Super Bowl where Montana led uh, the 49ers back against the Bengals, Sam Weich's Bengals. And in the 49er locker room afterward, there's Montana and Jerry Rice. And I look over to my left and there's Christy Brinkley. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And did this I just, really happen? Is this really happened? Did you sing Uptown Girl to her? I did not. No. I probably should have. You should have. That would have been an inappropriate opportunity for you to show off your vocal skills, of which Terrible. he has wonderful no. vocal skills. No. Often when I'm in the editing bay yeah. going through the process of putting together stories, uh, I will sing to myself and uh, it will be nonsensical. It will be something about, and there's a pass play that covers 20 yards, and very then good a run play. I would like you to sing uh, the song of Stack Ray. Can you sing? Oh, that's weird. Like we a need a song for Stack Ray. Right. Yum. We're talking. We're eating snacks. They're yummy. We're talking. It's Scott Smith's snack break for you right now. And that's it. And that's it. I, I love that. Okay. I, I really do. Mm. Yeah. I saw someone's message come up, but I couldn't read it. Yeah. On my, on my phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Is right. someone trying to get in touch with you? You know, I was a dog person growing up. My wife uh, loves cats, loves dogs too, but we've just, uh, we've had cats and uh, I've, go I've grown very fond of cats. They're, they're fantastic. Interesting. They're fantastic animals. See, I don't know that I could ever get to that place. I think you could. I, I it's, really don't. It's a, it's an appreciation. Was, it, was, a, it, was there certain like guards that you let down along the way? Yeah, oh yes, where very the much. cats would do something and you'd say, oh, oh you're not bad. No, exactly. I'll keep you. Mm-hmm. Like what, like what are, what are some examples of that? Pardon me, getting the morning paper. Your cat gets <laughs> Yeah, it just didn't, it was not, I didn't think, I think the cat realized there was a point where. Slippers too? Yeah, yeah. Slippers the cat, sure. <laughs> Slippers. No, the no. I know that you like to light fires in the fireplace. Wait, in fact, you sent me a picture, and I, I'm going to show that. Here's the yeah, picture. There's one of my hobbies. Of his, this is what he does. Guitar. What yeah. are the secret talents? Uh, let's see. I, um, I'm a very slow runner. That's a talent. It is. Yeah, because I can go an extremely long, long distance. Yeah. Were you a distance runner? I was a distance runner in, in high school, yeah. I was a cross-country guy. And, I think this um, is a perfect opportunity to maybe showcase some of your running skills. I can walk alongside you on the conveyor belt. <laughs> perfect. That walks here. Let's do it. And Jaws is my favorite movie. Jaws is your favorite movie? Very favorite movie. Rain Man is my wife and, and my favorite movie, but Jaws is so my favorite movie of all time. It's your great class play, by the way. I don't know what that means. Well, no, what you've got there is you have... Um, Quint, who is the working class guy, and then you've got Brody, who's the middle class, uh, the the police officer, and then you've got uh, uh, who's our who's our other guy, Hooper. You got Matt Hooper, who's the ichthyologist from Scripps Institute, who is the uh, he's the elitist or the the upper class, middle class. So you're saying this is not a movie simply about sharks? Oh, it's not about sharks at all. No, the shark it has is simply really very little to do metaphor. With yeah. Uh, when you were younger, mm -hmm. with you, you kind of had a fro that was something of a young Peter Frampton. <laughs> I did. Do you, is that the type of music you like? Oh, you, I did. You... I was a Peter Frampton fan and um, grew up on the Beatles through the 70s. Frampton and Boston was a big band. I love Boston. I love Boston. I still listen to Boston. What, get, what gets you dancing? Um, well, More Than a Feeling is, is a great Boston song. That's not a dancing song. How about smoking? It's a great just moving music. Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of like dance group do you do to that? Do you, do you have yeah. a move? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of much like that. This is Jeff Tewksbury, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're calling our flight. I think I think it's time to go. All right.
Thanks for joining us for Snack Break. Conjoined Gummy Twin Snakes.